Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the sci-fi action film Elysium. This film is written and directed by Neil Blomkamp. He is the director of District 9 and the writer of that film as well. I'm going to be honest, I love District 9. So with Elysium, I was really excited for that film. Not only because it's from the director of District 9, one of my favorite films of all time, but it had great actors in here and it had a great concept, original idea. This is actually one of my most anticipated films of 2013. This film stars Matt Damon, Jodie Foster, Alice Braga, Diego Luna, William Fichtner, and Charlotte Copley, who was also in District 9. After seeing Elysium, it's not perfect. It's not a fantastic film like I would hope it would be, but nonetheless, it's a good film. But District 9 is the better film in my opinion. Good things about this film is the concept. I really love the concept. It's very original. Neil Blomkamp, the writer, what he did, it was just so neat. Opening shot, once the movie opens, my word, it looks so beautiful. Everything looks so realistic. Robots in this film look badass. I was so impressed overall with every detail in this film. I was mind blown. So, cinematography is phenomenal. The setting is phenomenal. Everything looks so real. You were actually in this ugly and cruel world and it was just amazing. When the film started out, it was perfect. The first, I would say, 40 minutes of this film, without a doubt, is just perfect to me. It was, uh, I really thought it was going to be one of the best films of this year. For a while, it was. But then, after that first 40 minutes of the film, it seemed to kind of lose a step as the film is going on. And it was still good don't get me wrong i was still having a lot of fun with it i was still really enjoying it but you know it just wasn't as good as the first 40 minutes because the first 40 minutes is just perfect after that it wasn't perfect anymore i gotta be honest matt damon as the lead role him being bald it was just so awesome. He did such a great job. A lot of people seem to have a flaw with Jodie Foster and the accent she uses. In my opinion, I had no problem with her accent. Her accent was really interesting in my opinion. I thought Jodie Foster did a good job. I won't say her performance is groundbreaking or anything. She does a good job here. I had no problem with the accent she uses. Charlotte Copley as the villain Kruger. I gotta be honest with you guys, he was disappointing. Like, Charlotte Copley, he does a good job acting here, but like the villain that Neil Blomkamp gave us, I gotta say, I'm disappointed with the villain. Kruger was a disappointing villain in my opinion. If you guys find him awesome, I respect your opinion, I can understand why. But Kruger was actually one of the flaws I did have with Elysium. It was like, every word that had to come out of his mouth had to sound off cheesy and try to be funny. And I'm fine with humor being added in films. I love it when humor is added in films. But I felt like this villain was just far-fetched, over the top. I'm not saying he's a terrible villain. I mean, when he's fighting, it's awesome. But... Like, as him overall, the personality he has, he wasn't menacing to me at all. Just couldn't take him seriously, and I don't like that. That was one of my flaws with this film. Another flaw I had with this film was that the humor can be a little too cheesy at times. The final act of the film, right next to the villain overall, is the weakest aspect of this film because it is cool and you do get a lot of action in the final act. The action sequences are still filmed well. They are still badass to watch. But the final act I felt lacked motivation. It wasn't really executed that well. The majority of the film had great execution, but for some reason the final act, something felt off about the execution and it felt choppy in the final act and 
a little messy in my opinion. It's not a bad final act, you guys. I still really enjoy the final act. It's still cool. It doesn't really reach to that potential, what you would expect this one to be. There was really nothing groundbreaking about the ending. It wasn't really what I hoped it would be. It kind of left you saying, what? That's it? That's what this whole buildup was for? And it's built for that? That's how I felt when I came out of Elysium. I gotta be honest there. The other great things about this film though is how well filmed the action scenes in this film are. Some people were complaining about it being too shaky and you could barely see what's going on in the action scenes. What? Okay, yes, they were shaky, but they weren't this kind of shaky. They were like that kind of shaky, you know, just kind of like steady shaky. The action sequences were filmed well. The camera work uh, with a little bit of shakiness actually worked for the action scenes. They were intense. Every action scene that was in that film was so intense, and I was like wowed by it. My favorite one is definitely when uh, when they were out in the desert, and that's what that's the scene where Matt Damon does that slow mo shot on the robot, and you get this nice, beautiful shot of the robot exploding, like you would see him in slow mo go. <laughs> That was so freaking awesome. I loved that shot. Oh, man. Yes, I must say, Elysium, it's not one of the best films like I hoped it would be. I was really excited for this film. But I can't lie when I say it's a good film. It's a solid film. I like Elysium. I could definitely understand why some people would hate this film. It's definitely not the masterpiece that District 9 was. I could also understand why there are people that love Elysium and why they may prefer it over District 9. Me, personally, District 9 is better. I'm going to give this film three out of four stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your honest opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!